So I've been spending a few days now on chat GPT, the new AI that's gone viral. And for a very good reason, because this thing is amazing. Um, nobody's job is safe. I just read today that the AI chat GPT passed the United States medical license exam. So think about that. You could ask this AI any medical question and it knows the answer. And it's not like on Google where you type a question and then you go through a bunch of different forums trying to figure out the answer. You get the answer in one place now. Uh, I think that's pretty amazing. Not everything in the medical industry has one right answer, right? So it gives you one answer and you could talk to the AI and say, oh, well, I don't agree. Maybe it's this. So pretty amazing. But I'm in the IT space, cloud, cybersecurity. That's where I sit. I think it's going to disrupt the space I'm in. You're not going to need people. I just heard of the Google and AWS. Uh, you know, they're firing a bunch of people. Microsoft fired, I think, 10,000 people. Google, today I heard they fired 12,000 people. Think about this. I want to spin up an architecture in AWS. So let me think about something and let me say, okay. I want to set up a simple web server on AWS with cloud formation. How do I do that? Let's ask ChatGPT. Set up a simple web server on AWS with cloud formation. Okay. So right here, a lot of companies pay a lot of money for people who already have this knowledge of how things are done. But now it's clearly obvious that nobody will have as much knowledge as this AI. So I'm going to go one step further. Give me the code. Give me the YAML. Give me the YAML and JSON code to do this. So it's told me the steps, and now I'm saying, hey, give me the code so I can do it. All right? It will create an EC2 instance using Amazon Linux, and it will install the Apache web server. That's what you need. So here we go. Okay, there you go. Think about that. I just said, how do I set up a web server on AWS? It gave me the steps. So right there, I could have gone off and done it manually, but I don't want to do it manually. I want to have a script to do it. So I said, hey, give me a script in YAML and JSON, and it gave me the script. So I don't know, let's see if this script works, shall we? So I'm copying it. I'm gonna jump over to AWS. We're in CloudFormation. We're gonna upload a template. That code that I just got, I saved it in a Word file as chatgpt.json. Now I'm gonna come to choose file. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get that file that I just saved chat gpt dot json i'm going to click next i'm going to give the stack a name i'm going to call it chat gpt i'm going to click next click next and submit let's see let's see if it does anything it's creation is in progress Okay, so I got an invalid key pair. So that's because it's looking for a key pair that doesn't exist yet. So I'm gonna ask it, hey. So I said, hey, I got an invalid key pair error. Can you add the creation of the key pair to the code you created above? So let's see.
My mind is blown, guys. There is no need for resources anymore in a lot of these tech jobs. People are going to lose their jobs. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs. A lot. So, let me summarize what happened. I asked ChatGPT to give me the code for something. It gave me, right? I put it in uh, AWS. I got an error. The error was something related to key pair. I came back to ChatGPT and said, hey, I got this error. Can you fix the code uh, given this error? It says, yeah, sure, I will. And it now fixed the code. And now I'm going to take the new code that ChatGPT gave me and try it again. Use a template file, choose the file, update chat GPT, click next, give it a name, I'll call it chat GPT again, next, next, and submit. So this time, let's see what happens now. It should also create the key pair first before creating all the architecture. So let's see what happens. And this time, it worked, complete. It worked. So I asked ChatGPT to set up a web server for me in AWS, had an error. I told ChatGPT what the error was. It told me, hey, try this. I tried it and it worked. So it, it just feels like you have this assistant, like this person next to you who is a subject matter expert. And you can just ask them any questions you want and they answer. And this subject matter expert doesn't need insurance, doesn't take time off, doesn't go on break, and works really, really fast. How can you beat that? How can you compete with that? That's why a lot of companies are not going to need a lot of people, a lot of tech people. It's, it's just a fact. Let's go and see whether the architecture has been created. First of all, I'll go to EC2. You can see I have one instance running. There you go. That's the IP address for the one that's running. Let's see, a new security group was created called ChatGPT, my security group name. That's the key pair that was created. So I don't know about you guys, but I, I think that's pretty amazing. So just think about being able to do that for anything, for any sort of service that you do, for any tool that you use in the tech space. So for example, people in cybersecurity, I, I talked about vulnerability management. Tenable, Tenable is a vulnerability management tool. So you usually have to hire people to come in and do the configuration. Well, maybe you don't need to. What if I were to say, how do you set database scans to run in Tenable on a weekly basis at 10 p.m.? How do you set database scans to run on Tenable on a weekly basis at 10 p.m.? So, you see what I'm talking about here? Like, they hire people to, to have this knowledge of how to use these tools. But it's obvious now that that knowledge is just data, and that data has been fed to this AI, and this AI understands it and is able to answer it for you quicker than a human being could. And very accurate, too, because this is how it's done. I know how to use Tenable. Even though this is Tenable IO, I use Tenable SC. But this is how it's done, right? And then I can have follow-up questions. Maybe as I'm trying to do it, I run into another question. As you saw with what happened with AWS, I could just have a follow-up question with this AI. So it's like I'm talking to a real person. Anyway, I'm going to keep playing around with this thing because it's freaking amazing. But I want to know what you guys think. Is it over for the workplace? What should people be getting into now? What do you think?